right back on again. You can see where the wall sometimes has been added up higher. There's a line that goes by, so it wasn't that high. That's probably to keep people out. Doesn't always stabilise a wall though. Um, that bit there has been added, but it's probably a, someone's done that. Various people up on the fort there. You can see a lot of the stones here. This is for, all from the fort. All this was part of the fort once and the embankment, the um, whether it's moved down, it actually looks like subsidence, doesn't it? If you know what I mean, like it's moved. But all the, all this is part of the rock, and of course it was quarried at one time as well a bit, I think. I don't know if it was, people probably nicked the stones from up here to build their houses in the past as well. But under all this, it's just rocks, it's all stones like this, under this vegetation. And here we've got the labyrinth wall, David Bowie's labyrinth wall going on and on, with various doorways in it, and secret windows. Yeah, I took a quite a nice little picture a minute ago, looking over at the old pier through an old window. It's quite good. I know what it turned out like. I took a, took a picture. Keep out, that one says. This isn't the way in. Somewhere to put your foot though, isn't it? Young fit lad, foot on there, over. Yeah, I don't know. Or a young fit girl, it doesn't have to be a lad. Just old habits are hard though, don't they? Ah, especially if you were born in the 50s. A lot of stuff still entrenched in your head. And there's those that want to return to those times. It's, uh, they were fast moving times in many ways. Because there was a lot of discoveries and a lot of Oh, there must have been lots of money, I think, somewhere, and um, so there was a lot of progress indeed, thank goodness, and we were all part of it, but some of the old attitudes took a while too. The walls disappeared now, if you notice, it goes down the hill back there, it goes down, we finish the wall for a little bit, it comes back on again later. It'll be down there, though, be beyond this fence. Yeah, so basically it was quite repressive still for women. There was still a lot of pioneering to do. And the two world wars helped women's cause in many ways because of the... They had to... They, could, they were seen to be able to do these jobs. You know, they've, they didn't just have to make cakes and do the washing. But there is a movement. Women don't know it themselves either, by the way. Or if they're not women, they're transgender people. Blokes turning into women for men's reasons. Um, they probably see the submissive woman as what they'd want to be for some reason, you know. But having not been one, they don't really know what they're doing. Um... It's disempowering, if you ask me. Yeah, some of the build wall comes in again in a minute. And um, so there is this movement to try and... I think we're going down, you know. Never mind, we'll follow it for a minute. Might have to go back up again. There might be a path up in a minute, so I don't want to go down. So, so there is this movement by some so-called women that want to return to the 50s so they can stay at home and cook and look after their husband's property. I think we'll go up there, Sheila. I think this is going to take us... No, no, carry on. No, it doesn't. It takes you down to the 
bottom of the fort bit and then we go back up. No, don't go up yet. Carry on down, girl. No, so, you know, to me that's a very, very backward step. And But you see, with a very extreme right-wing government, which is what we got now, with very, very right-wing views about the roles of men and women, and they're not at all progressive, not for, especially for women, they're not. So, uh, that is a really, really bad move. Um, and I'm, I'm sure half the population, which are women, will, a lot of them won't want to go back to those days. Because it isn't just staying at home and cooking the cakes. Women were in the shadows constantly. Disempowered all the time. Not being able to buy their own homes, not being able to get a mortgage. There were so many things that disarmed women. You know, disarmed them. Now, I don't know if I really want to go this way. Let's just go to the that tree. So, as this is my reflective diary, and it's 2020 now. Yeah, that takes us out. Where does that take us out to? Yeah, that takes us out somewhere on a road. <sighs> Hmm. Yeah, we don't want to do that though. We don't want to go out. I've forgotten about that route. Yeah, so basically we, we, we shouldn't be going back now. We have lived in a type of bubble though in England, you see. The Western world, Germany, France, Sweden, Norway, all that. We, we, there's been a lot of progress. Um, a lot of women all over the world are still highly repressed and devalued. Not valued at all. They're, they're seen as less than animals. Treated badly. Denied their freedom. So any small step going back, I'm afraid, is too much of a big step for my liking. Yeah, lots of kids. Yeah, so I'm mentioning this because Boris Johnson's only won the election recently. They're in for five years. They've already been in for ten years, the Tories, but not this extreme group. They're almost fascists. And um, they're, they've got a, an agenda. And they've got... Uh, Oh, I don't know if I've come across these steps before. I keep discovering stuff. Hmm, that's interesting. No, that's interesting, folks. Okay, so if I'd gone down that narrow track a minute ago... Ah, I see now. So we're not far from that church. Hmm. So before I take some photos... Because I've never seen this path before. If I have, I've forgotten it. I might have done it once. So basically, roll on the revolution. Over and out. Right, just off that track. Those steps, I've never, as far as I know, I can't ever remember seeing them before. I'm sure I came up by the wall once though. Because this is wall started up again here, look. Goes all the way to the big steps going down where I normally come up, down that way, with views over at the pier and that. The old pier. The Burnbeck pier. This one's the main pier. This one over here. That burnt down in 2000... I don't know if it was 2008, but it was rebuilt. And, uh... some great views of the pier from up here I can also see my van I'm going to home in just above the 
aquarium place and right on the corner there above the top of the aquarium there's a white van just part of it and that is Alberta and I live down that road Brent Knoll in the distance and then further over we'll have um, uphill and then we've got these um, steps which I can't remember I'm, if I've I don't, as far as I know, I've never seen these before. Whether they were covered, I mean, I would imagine that they were here from the Victorian age. And they had lots of big trees, there's one stump there. So it could be that I passed across them further up once. Because I'm sure I, could, I tried following that wall. Maybe I couldn't get very far or something. I'm sure I followed that wall. I can't re ever remember these steps because I would have remembered this and had the photo of them. We're going to emerge the other side of the main hill fort, I think. I'm quite sure at a moment. But to uh, look out for treasure, Sheila, because this is new. Now, what, how many years I've been coming up here and I've never, ever in my life done these steps, and I know that. I know I haven't. There's a new complex that was Dolphin Square, which was a lovely little market area once. A few people out today. Now, if I hadn't decided to do a bit of exploring, like just wandering by the old wall, I wouldn't, and, and, and pursued it and kept going, I wouldn't have come across this. As it's possible that I used to normally come up by now but today I thought now carry on that looks like what I used to call Roman cement there <coughs> I have seen people before emerging when I've been up there but I've never I never knew about the steps Never knew about those. I find something new every time. I suspect there's lots of stuff under the undergrowth. I bet there's lots of stuff under here. Lots of hidden secrets in this hill fort. Of course there is, would be. It's been here for a millennia. A millennia, a millennia, a millennia, a millennia, a millennia, a millennia. I don't have to go as far as the embankment steps now. See, this could easily have grown over and I didn't see it. That's quite likely what happened. I didn't see it. Maybe they haven't long uncovered all this. It's just that probably I've never, next time I come up, instead of coming up that, the steps by the embankment there, I'll, 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 I'll come this way just to, or I'll go back that way, you know, I'll, um, I'll vary it. i got to go back now, so I've got to get to Tesco's before four o'clock to pick up some dinner. Right, so we're now on the hill fort proper, the main paths. Um, like a meeting place almost, isn't it? It's been heavily cleared. Yeah, and I probably never knew about those steps. I know I didn't. Yeah, this used to be quite a quiet area. And tracks are very narrow once here. Very narrow. I'd say they are clearing it. Somebody coming. 